Does somebody stab himself with this? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Is that perfect? Yeah. All right. All right, how many questions a day do you ask Daniel but two? A lot, you know, because he knows everything. You know, he knows his defense about in and out, as good as anyone, probably as good as the coaches. So, you know, he helps a lot with that. Yeah, I was going to ask how much he's helped you in, in, in terms of understanding defense. A lot. Like I said, offense. you know, me and Batuta will be during fall camp. We were in the, in the film room for a while, so probably like an hour or two after uh, practice, just going over plays and schemes. Did you study high, uh, football that much in high school? Yeah, you know, coming from the other side, that's what we really harped on is film study and just being able to understand the game. And then they just thought it that simple, just being able to understand what you're doing. And that's how we went from there and so. Henry, even outside of football, are you a guy that's grown up asking a lot of questions? Are you a curious personality yeah. or is it just about football? Yeah, uh, I kind of just want to know everything. You know, I don't want to walk, like have a blindfold on, just walking around not knowing what to do. So I kind of just go take that approach with everything. Daniel called you a dog, and a lot of the upperclassmen have been singing your praise. How much does it mean to you to hear that, especially, you know, given the impact you've had on the field this season? Oh, man, it, it means a lot to me, you know, because I, I kind of want to play for the seniors to be able to have them uh, leave with that happy hand. You know, I want them to be able to leave here at Tennessee uh, happy with uh, how this season went. But, you know, we obviously all have a lot of work to do, especially me. You know, I have a lot of ways to improve, but, you know, we'll move forward with that. Where have you seen the most growth in yourself from the start of camp until now? Uh, just being able to uh, know the plays. You know, I didn't really take film that serious. I didn't really take uh, sitting down and watching myself and critiquing myself and the little stuff. So uh, being able to realize what I need to work on is what I, I kind of grew the most. How'd you handle the open week? What were some things in, in football and outside of football that you, that you did? Uh, in football, I kind of sat down and watched a lot more film on myself. I kind of went back in the few games that we had and watched myself and kind of Wanted to critique the little things, you know. I wanted to fix how, you know, my stance was, my footwork, driving to my zone, um, and then I, I kind of took a break to go back home, you know, to kind of retard my battery and come back stronger. What did you kind of learn about yourself from watching the film? Anything you noticed? Or? Yeah, I uh, just got to get in and out of my breaks quicker. Got to see things a lot faster. Was there a moment, either in practice or in a game, where you realized, hey, I can play at this level? Uh, shoot, you know, I still, I still kind of struggle with that. You know, I kind of. Uh, of course, I have confidence, but you know, I got to be able to prepare every day in and out to live up to that expectation. You don't look like you're struggling that much. I mean, you know, we have, you know, everybody struggles in their ways. You know, a lot of people may not see it, but you know, inner, you know, it's still there. Henry, I know you're used to uh, coming from down south. Yes. And I know sure this has been a weird start of the season from the winning standpoint for you. Mm -hmm. Going back home, seeing the parents, what, what advice did they kind of give you? Because I know you're from a big family. Yeah, uh, perseverance. Never give up. You know, that's what my family's really based upon uh, is, you know, to push through adversity. You know, when something hits you hard, you, you keep going. You never give up. With with no Shannon and no Will, did the coaches talk to you about being prepared to play a ton of snaps and having fewer guys in the rotation? Yeah, just being able to step up, you know, the, the entire linebacker crew, being able to be the, the next man up. You know, we all got to uh, pick up what we left off and just being able to improve from there. What is the dynamic that we kind of like now that there's only four or five of you guys? Yeah. Kind of yeah, Aaron came in. You guys, you know, what are those dynamics like, and how is it, how is it kind of translate to the practice the last week? Uh, we just got to pick up. You know, we got to pick up where we left off. Uh, you know, we got to catch everybody up to speed. But you know, the guys in that room, they're great. You know, they they pick up things fast and they're they're fast and physical, so we'll be good. Looking at Georgia, just what makes their offense so impressive, and what kind of opportunity is this yeah. for you guys? Oh man, Georgia, you know, they speak volumes for themselves. They're a great team, uh, big, fast, and physical. You know, this. This is what you come here to play for. You know, the SEC football, you come here for challenges, and it's a big challenge, and, you know, this is something that we be able to look forward to. Is it a challenge for you to adapt to the culture here versus California? Oh, yes, sir. You know, um, like I said before, you know, Tennessee's a lot slower than California. Uh, California moves a lot faster than Tennessee, but, you know, slowly adapting, we feel good. It's time to feel, feel at home. While you're just a freshman, do you hope to kind of bring your own culture here and you know, like you talked about winning in high school and bringing that, that side of the game. Yeah, to, yeah, definitely. To definitely. Uh, you know, that's why we kind of came in. We've seen opportunity, uh, you know, coming here to change something, to make it for the better, uh, coming here to play for Coach Pruitt, you know, and his vision to be able to turn things around. You guys did that self-scouting during the playoff. What was Jeremy's kind of message to you guys, the defense as a whole, is after four yeah. games, this is what we should improve on the most? Oh, uh, we got to execute. You know, we got to finish plays, finish off games. So, being able to finish things off how we started the game is something he really hard on.
What's the hardest part about learning this defense on, on the mental side of things? Uh, you got to know everything, you know, especially at the middle linebacker position. You got to know where everybody's at, uh, how to set the front, the DBs, where they're at. How, do your role, how does your role change on early downs versus like when you guys go into those rabbit packages yeah. and you maybe switch to money? How, how did you take us through kind of how your role changes? Uh, like, you know, first, second down is really run. And then third down, we'll kind of focus on passing and stopping them to get off the field. Do you feel like you understand the defense enough to where you're playing fast? Uh, some sorts, yeah, I feel like. But there's some areas that I, I obviously need to improve on to be able to, uh, you know, play my game at that higher level. So, of course, I'll be able to. I'll get there, so we'll get there. So. Henry, I know it's not your focus, but uh, your home state just passed that law about yes, the sir. name and likeness. How much has that kind of been on your radar, just kind of listening to, to that and what that would do to student athletes in the future? Uh, me, I didn't really I didn't really focus on that that much. You know, I kind of, college football was always a dream for me. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't really focus on getting paid or any stuff like that for my name. I kind of just wanted to do it for my family. You know, every ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play college football, not for no money. How excited are, are they about your experience at Tennessee when you went back and, <coughs> and spent time yeah. with them? What, what, well, how have they seen your experience so far? Uh, they, they loved it. You know, my parents, my parents love Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, they were very proud to be a volunteer family. So, you know, it's great to have my, my family support me and everything I do. Thank you, more. Since, uh, since Zach put out that video about your uh, name pronunciation, has it cleared up at all? And how's everybody doing with it? Everybody's doing great. You know, they're doing a lot better. A lot, a lot of people are starting to pronounce it right. And, you know, it just feels good. Feels Say good. it again. Total, total. OK. And one more time. <laughs> Any more? Play, playing against Florida, you know, just obviously you played in a few games, but getting into an SEC game, yeah. did you notice a difference in kind of the style of play? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bigger, faster, physical. Man, the SEC games are no joke. The environment, the, the crowds, uh, everything. You know, we just got to be able to compete. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Appreciate it.